สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, February 25, and I'm your host JP Mustansa with the news you need to know. We'll kick things off with news out of Chumphon Province as a passenger van carrying 10 Marine Department officials from Phuket to Bangkok crashed into a tree, killing six officials yesterday. The incident took place at about 11 a.m. yesterday on Highway 41 in Chumphon Sawi District after the front tire burst causing the van to skid into the central reservation and a collision resulted in the death of four people at the scene. Seven people were seriously injured and two of them were later pronounced dead at a local hospital. The van was hired to transport the 10 Marine Department officials from Phuket to Bangkok after they had completed their assignments on the island. For more on this, visit thephuketnews.com. And a total of 11 people, including four foreign tours, are now safe after the dive boat they were on partially sank off Similan Islands over the weekend. The Royal Thai Navy 3rd Area Command Base in Pangyan Province received the notice of a marine accident off Similan Islands at about 2.45 a.m. on Sunday morning, but luckily no injuries were reported. There were seven Thai nationals and four foreigners on board. All of them were rescued safely. An investigation is now underway after the boat was seen partially submerged in the water. Stay up to date with thepukanews.com. A scene reminiscent of the hangover, a tourist asleep on a mattress on the awning of a hotel, except this time it's real and it happened right here in Phuket, in Rawai in fact. Two Estonian tourists are being charged with drunken or disorderly behavior and damaging property after one of them, 37-year-old Eric Meister, was found sleeping on top of the mattress on top of a Rawai hotel awning right outside the room he shared with 24-year-old Martin Oakes. Reports say a witness had called police thinking that the man had jumped, but upon closer inspection, he was actually sleeping on the mattress that he had placed himself outside his room just the night before, and police were notified of the incident at about 10.30 a.m. on Friday morning. Reports say the men were both still intoxicated during the incident and there was damage to the room. They've accepted the charges and agreed to cover the costs. Puka Extra will be right back after this. Visit us in Patan or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Officials in Chalong are still searching for the body of a Myanmar national who yesterday went missing while swimming in the Klong Kata Reservoir, which locals know as the Chalong Reservoir. Chalong police were notified at about 4 p.m. yesterday that 25 year old Ong Xiao Tun had drowned while swimming with a friend inside the reservoir behind Wat Pu Supa in Chalong. And local fishermen say they witnessed the incident as they see them. They jumped in to help but were unable to find the body of Mr. Ong. Officials then arrived with a boat and rescue equipment and after more than five hours of searching yesterday, they were still unable to find the men's body and they called off the search due to a lack of visibility and resumed this morning. Still no reports that the body was found. A helmet giveaway in Patong and the fight against the chikungunya illness has officials busy around the island. Let's start in Patong where Mayor Chalurim Lakepsap was on hand for a helmet giveaway at the beach end of Bangla Road along with local businessman Prap Kisen as they launched a campaign to promote road safety on Thursday. Meanwhile, officials in Wichit municipality have already begun rolling out a different campaign, this one to prevent the spread of the chikungunya infection, of which 308 people in Phuket have contracted since January 1st, making the island home to the highest infection rate in Thailand. Symptoms of chikungunya are similar to those of dengue and Zika, spread by the same mosquitoes, but it's not deadly and symptoms include fever, joint pain, headaches, and joint swelling. Widget residents who wish to have their area fogged or want larvicide sand can call the number below. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.